Hi, this is Seth David with NerdEnterprises.com, and today we're talking about getting organized. And this is part one of a several part segment on getting organized, where in this section I'm going to go over how to get organized in Windows. Specifically, we're going to be looking at how to reorganize a group of files and folders that you may have in your existing file structure in your computer. So what you're looking at here is the uh, folder structure I have for my learning center, which has all the files for all the webcasts and tutorials that are available in my learning center. Now, if we come over here to free webcasts, these are the ones that you see, like this one, which uh, are free. And oftentimes you'll find them in, in the blog and elsewhere on YouTube and so on and so forth. So if I double-click this, what you see is a very long list of folders. And some of them say Excel in the beginning, some of them say QuickBooks, but it's not necessarily 100% clear. And to me, a really good organizational structure is one where somebody who doesn't know anything about what I'm doing here can immediately identify where to go to find, for example, a QuickBooks tutorial or a group of QuickBooks tutorials. So what I want to do is show you how I'm going to reorganize this in order to group things. And when I like to reorganize things, one of the things I like to do is set up broader categories and put more things in them because I find that most of the time you can search within to find what you're looking for. So that's what we're going to do here. And the first step is to create the new folder structure that we're going to want to see. So right at the level where I'm going to be regrouping everything, in this case, right here in the free webcasts folder, I'm going to create a new folder, and this is going to be for QuickBooks tutorials. Then I'm going to create another new folder, and this one is going to be for MS Excel tutorials. Then I'm going to do another new folder, and this one is going to be called Social Media Tutorials. And then we're going to do another one called Web Design Tutorials. And last but not least, we're going to do one called Windows Internet Security Tutorials. And now what I'm going to do is copy all the folders here into the appropriate subfolder. Now, the way I'm going to do that in order to make this simple is I'm going to open up another instance of Windows Explorer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here into my Learning Center, and I'm going to do, let's say, the QuickBooks ones first. So what I want to do is simply open up the QuickBooks folder. And now I'm set up to simply drag and drop everything that belongs in the QuickBooks folder right over here. And that's what I'm going to do, and in just a second when I come back, you will see the newly organized folder structure, everything inside the subfolders of QuickBooks and Excel and all the ones that I just created. So you'll see exactly what this looks like when I'm finished. Okay, so now you're looking at the reorganized free webcast section. And as you can see, this is much easier to sort of digest. There's a lot fewer categories, and it makes sense. Now I know this is where I go to look for QuickBooks tutorials. I also created one called Multiple Software Tutorials because there were several projects that I've done that deal with more than one piece of software. For example, exporting from Excel to Outlook or inserting an Excel spreadsheet into PowerPoint. So it made sense to have one for multiple software tutorials. Now, what I want to show you as a final tip for this section is I'm going to go into the QuickBooks tutorials and let's pick one here, uh, QuickBooks for investments let's say. And what I want to show you is a trick that will help you really find things quickly when you're looking within a folder and especially if there's a lot of different files. Looking at one long list of files, even if it's organized by name, in my experience doesn't necessarily help me all the time. So if I right click here and choose group by and choose type then Windows breaks it up for me by file type. And that, to me, makes it much faster because most of the time I know exactly what I'm looking for in terms of the type of document. Either I'm looking for a Word document or I'm looking for a QuickBooks file or an Excel spreadsheet. So usually this, for me, is the best way to find something. But as you can see, you have other choices here, too, in terms of how to group. But the bottom line is that by grouping things in a way that works for you, you can find things very quickly. And that's the whole point of this. So hopefully you found this helpful. And as always, I look forward to seeing you on the web. This again has been Seth David from Nerd Enterprises. Also now working with Make It Work. For all of your computer needs, call one eight seven seven make it work and they'll come to you or they'll remote desktop in with you to give you all the IT support you need. These guys are great. I definitely recommend you give them a call if you need any kind of computer help and call us for QuickBooks and Excel and other financial accounting help. We'll see you on the web.